here in Peekskill with former Governor George Pataki. He's given us a few minutes of his time today. I want to thank you, Governor, for joining me today. Good being with you, Jeff. I know you've been traveling a lot and you've been uh, promoting a lot of causes. And in Westchester, uh, it's been close to our heart watching you go around the, count of the country and talk about um, preserving, uh, you know, Spending has gone out of out of control in, in the country. Obviously, in Westchester, that's what we're doing. With Rob Astorino as our county executive, and the deficit that has been growing and growing, and how that's affecting our economy. Uh, have you been watching what we've been doing here in Westchester? I have, and uh, I want to congratulate you and County Executive Astorino because. Uh, I don't have to tell any of your viewers or you, right. we were the highest tax county in America, not in New York State, in America. And at the same time, uh, I was worried about the AAA credit right. rating that Westchester has always been so proud of. But uh, you, working with the county executive and other legislators, have been able uh, to not just hold the line on spending, but to reduce the size of the county government to an affordable level. And it's an ongoing fight, believe me, I know. <laughs> I, know. I went through it in Peekskill and I went through it in Albany. And, uh, and uh, this is the type of leadership uh, that now doesn't get you applause today, but allows us to have confidence in tomorrow. And that's what leadership is all about. It's not going out and buying off an interest group today. It's about thinking about your children and their children and your community and how people are going to have confidence that not only is it a great place to live today, but it's going to get better. And I think that's what you, uh, your colleagues on the county legislature, who understand the need to, to, to lower taxes and control spending, and County Executive Astorino have done very effectively, and I congratulate you for that. And now we have a little bit more help with a couple new members on the board. Uh, right. The supermajority is no longer there. And it does take time. It's been over a decade long of increased spending, enlarging the organization at the county, expanding the government, and now we're in the process only two years in trying to reduce that. We've made some very big strides. And as you know, it doesn't happen overnight. It has to be a steady, con continual uh, focus on that, and uh, that's what we're going to be continuing to do. Before you got to the legislature and uh, Rob became county executive, spending was out of control yeah. in Westchester County. And everybody thinks, isn't it wonderful? I'm getting more for this, more for that. And then they get the tax bill. And what they don't get is the warnings about what's going to happen next year and the year after that. So when you came in with Rob, uh, it was a nightmare. And I believe me, I know because uh, I had a $5 billion deficit when I my first year uh, as governor. Uh, and it's very hard when a major organization like Westchester is headed in the wrong direction to turn around and get it in the, headed in the right direction. And, a lot of people don't understand why you have to do that, but you do. Uh, and in the end, everyone is better off for that. And so again, I congratulate you. And uh, yeah, it's great to know that you are part of a, a group on the legislature that will continue to be fiscally conservative and prevent massive tax increases and borrowing that jeopardize our future. And we've been doing it without really um, hurting the people who really need the help. Obviously, right. there's always that segment of society that needs a little bit of a boost here or there. We've been very careful not to uh, go to the point where people can uh, expect to be really hurt to the point where they can't uh, survive. So we've been doing the best we can with that, as well as being more realistic about the spending and the size of the government. Um, the programs are just exploding. Uh, in good times, you don't notice it as much, but now, and obviously the way things are uh, with the economy today, they really show up, and uh, that's when you really got to be careful. Exactly right. And, and, you know, everybody understands with your family budget, uh, if you don't have it, you can't go right. buy it. Uh, but when it comes to government, everybody thinks, well, you just borrow. Uh, and eventually you can't. And eventually you have to pay for it. And, and what we want to see in Westchester is what it's always been. And, of course, we want to make sure everyone has the, the support and the help they need. But we want people to have opportunity to, to dream and to fulfill those dreams, and in particular for the children uh, to, of today, that they can live here, they'll be able to afford to live here, they'll be able to have a job here, uh, and, and really that's what leadership means, and, and you and the county executive uh, should be commended. And uh, that's not to say it's not over. No, Keep it's fighting. never over. It's, it's never over. over. Keep great. fighting. Great. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Jeff.